Hey, what's going on everyone? In this quick video, I'm going to show you several different ways on how you can make messages private on your iPhone device. So some of these methods you may have seen, but I'm also going to show you a few extra really nice tips and tricks on how you can hide the text messages on your iPhone device. So the very first thing I recommend to do is go ahead into your settings. Now once you're in here, you just want to go down to notifications. And now you just want to go all the way down to messages. Now once here you just want to tap. So once we're in here we have several different settings that we can apply to the messages app. And one of the most foolproof options is just to go ahead and disable notifications for messages. So once you go ahead and enable this, this means that your iPhone will not receive any message notifications even when the screen is locked and also when the screen is open as well. So this means all of the messages will go directly into the messages app without any notifications whatsoever. So this is a really good foolproof way on kind of how to hide your messages activity. However, the major downside is that you're actually not aware when messages do arrive. Um, however, I do find it's a lot better just to go ahead and kind of customize the individual settings to your liking. So just below here we have the settings for where we want the notification to show up. Um, so for this one I can go ahead and disable banners and notification center and I can just set it to lock screen as well. And if I scroll down I can set the sounds to none or vibration. And now if I go back I can again show badges and CarPlay so I can go ahead and turn these off. And down here I also have the ability to show previews as well. So with the show previews this is when the iPhone is maybe locked and it will actually show the entire message on the screen. So if you're trying to hide your activity then this is a really awesome setting as it prevents people that you maybe do not want to read the message on your lock screen. So I can set this to never. So this means even when I receive a text message when the screen is open, it also will not show a preview. So if someone's sitting next to me or if I'm on a bus or a train, that person actually isn't able to see the text message as soon as I receive it. So for some additional steps on how to hide messages on your iPhone, I'll also go into the messages app and just show you all a few extra tips and tricks on how you can actually hide the messages directly within the messages app as well. So if I want to go ahead and maybe just go ahead and delete a couple of these individual text messages from this conversation, I can easily go ahead and do that just by pressing and holding. Now as soon as I do that we have a few different options here and I just want to go ahead and press more. And as soon as I do that I now have the ability to go ahead and select individual messages and actually delete those permanently. So in this instance I'm just going to go ahead and press these two and now I can go ahead and delete them and then I just want to go ahead and confirm that. So now those two individual messages are deleted from this entire conversation. And for an extra step on how to make messages private on your iPhone is to use the invisible ink feature within the messages app. So I'm just going to go ahead and type a message. Now before I send the message I just want to go ahead and press and hold onto the arrow icon. So once I do that I now have a few different options here and now I just want to go ahead and press invisible ink. And as you can see guys, the actual message is now kind of made invisible right here. So now I can go ahead and send. And as you can see, the message is completely hidden here in the invisible ink feature. So this is another really awesome way on how to make messages private on your iPhone device. So there you have it everyone. That's just a few quick and simple tips on how to make messages private on your iPhone device. Uh, if this video has been helpful for you, please consider hitting the thumbs up and subscribe button. And also if you'd like to see any other content like this, please share your ideas down below in the comment section as I'll be happy to make more videos for all of you out there. So as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.